days. It's St. Patrick's Day every day when these guys are in town. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Oh, we're good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Jed, you brought your guitar too, so I I'm, I'm very glad about that. Well, we always bring our instruments with us. Any opportunity to sing a song is good. Yes. So how are you guys? We're great. Yeah, really, really enjoying South Africa. And yes. The sunshine. It's fantastic. How, how long have you been here? We've been here just over a week now. Okay. Yeah, just over a week. And have you been doing rehearsals and that sort of a thing? We've just run our first week of shows. We were here for two days rehearsals. Mm -hmm. Then we've done uh, a week of shows and we just okay. started our second week yesterday. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we're having a great time. Okay. And uh, that voice that you're hearing, it's uh, Jed. In fact, Jed, I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and Essence of Ireland. How are you part of it? Yeah, well, I'm the... Um, lead vocalist and narrator of the show and I'm also the creative director on the show and uh, Essence of Ireland is a story of love and romance uh, when two people meet in Ireland, two young people fall madly in love but because of the economic situation in Ireland Sean has to leave and go to work in England mm. and then eventually he moves on to America and he corresponds with his first love Cora um, through letters over a 60 year period uh, and the story is really about immigration. It's about leaving the country that you love uh, and the people that you love. And you get tied up in your life and time moves on. But mm. With Sean, he never really forgot where he came from. And we tell that story in music, song and dance. Did you say over 60 years? Over 60 years, yeah. It was a long time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Leanne, tell us a little bit about yourself and what your involvement is in uh, Essence of Ireland. Well, I started playing the oh, violin. If we can at, just come closer to the mic, that would be, yes. I started playing the violin at 14, mm -hmm. and uh, my mum's from County Donegal, the northwest of Ireland. So we used to go over there quite a lot to visit family and friends, and there's tons of music sessions happening over there, and I was drawn into the Irish music. And I've been playing that ever since, mm -hmm. and um, I just enjoy playing it in the show. It's great. Okay. Great time. What's different about Irish music, would you say? I mean, you've listened to music and so on. In fact, you've possibly played other types of music. What's different about Irish music? It's it's very, very creative. I mean, when I play it, there's a lot of improvisation involved. Um, it's just a, it's completely different for every other genre of music that I've played. Uh, there's lots of jigs. It's a, it's a dance mm. music, really. I just getting the chance to enjoy playing it. I love playing the slow airs, nice ballads, jigs, yes. reels, everything. It's, it's great. Jed, what, what can I expect to see on stage? When I come to the show, what do I expect to see? Ten people on stage, hundreds of people on stage? Yeah. What, what can I expect? There's uh, 16 people on stage. Yeah, that's right. No, oh, se 17. 17. 17 people 17. on stage. There's mm -hmm. five band mm -hmm. uh, and 11 dancers. Uh, and we want you to come along and have a St. Patrick's Day experience. We want you to smile, have what we call in Ireland a bit of the crack, bit of a laugh, a bit of a sing along. <laughs> we want to, if we to cry a little bit maybe, uh -huh. but be happy, be sad, be joyful, and then yes. come out of the theatre feeling like you've had a real Irish experience. Because you know, I, I know there are lots of Irish people in South Africa. Mm. In, in your opinion, if they come to the show, what, what will they take away from the show? I think they'll take away uh, a little bit of Ireland with them. They'll, they'll understand why Irish people are so enthusiastic for life. Yes. Because we really are enthusiastic. You know, when we're happy, we're super happy. When we're sad, mm. we cry our eyes out. And that's big blokes as well. You know, we're not ashamed of our emotions. Uh, yes. And it's just that f joy of living, of, of life, of just having a good time, you know, yes. really embracing the moment. and. And just, just living, yes. just living and breathing. And I think that's what we share with, with South African people, mm -hmm. and that's what we found from the people that we've met. You know, everybody just loves to to live life. Yes. So you know, we find a great affinity with South African people. And the instruments that you have on stage, Len, if you if you want to tell us a little bit about that, the violin. Um, I got this. Uh, my father actually collected it from somewhere which I don't know. He found it in a skip. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and he had it in the uh, in the attic for quite a while, and I was actually after a new instrument, and um, he brought this down from the attic, and he dusted it off, and he put the new strings on for me, and he says, "Have a play of that," and um, I've been playing this one for about eight years now, and the tone is just 
it's a beautiful sound. It's gotten louder through the years. And oh, it's, it's, yes. Yeah, very, very loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so that violin, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. And then we have, um, I, I play guitar and, and, and the lead vocalist. Then we have a female uh, lead singer. And we have a drummer, percussionist, mm -hmm. and Adam, who plays the other stringed instruments, electric guitar, acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's, it's a real sort of Irishy feel to, the, to all the music. Yes. And now I can't wait uh, for you guys to actually start playing something. So if you want to tune up and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what are you going to play? This? Um, I think we'll play uh, a couple of songs from the show. Uh, and it's the part of the show where Sean comes over to England to a place called Cricklewood in London and it's where a lot of the Irish settled in, in the centre of London when they emigrated in the 50s yes. and one of the things that grew about that is a thing called the Session which is where people would meet in a pub and in, in a bar after work they'd have a few drinks well quite a lot of drinks and <laughs> sing some songs that would remind them of home yes. so the, the scene that was set in the bar a very famous pub in London called the Crown in Cricklewood and uh, we'll do a couple of songs from that, yeah. yeah. So is this where, you know, most Irish people cry after you play? Because yes. Of, because of nostalgia, perhaps? Or? Yeah, they do. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah, very much so. I mean, we have some really sad songs within the, within the show where we have Danny Boy and mm -hmm. You Raise Me Up, Carrick Fergus as a, you know, those are kind of the, the poignant moments. But we have a yes. lot of joyful moments as well. Uh, and this is one of the more of sit down, smile, have a bit of the crack and have a bit of a laugh. Okay, so take it up. Okay. I've been a world rover for many a year And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer And now I'm returning with gold and great store Sure I never will play the world rover no more And it's no It sounds like an orchestra, believe it or not. It's only two instruments, but it sounds like, you know, this huge... Big sound. Sort of Energy, resonating. Yeah. How do you make that sound uh, from two instruments only? Well, I think it's just about... I think it's just the passion, isn't it? Yes, just the like, energy. It's the energy. Yeah. Yes. Great. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Leanne, as you said, uh, your instrument has been sitting for about eight years now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Suppose it has been uh, gathering that resounding sound. It has, yeah. Just the yes. more I play it, the louder it gets, and yes. the better it sounds, hopefully. And uh, you know, it, for me, it's just amazing because you know you hear the Irish uh, fiddle, yeah. the way it's going, and you know, you know very well that's Irish. T 
tell me about the dances that go with that. Yeah, well, the um, Irish dancing has got a you know a, a really long heritage. Um, I suppose modern Irish dancing came about with uh, Michael Flatley and, and River Dance, and mm. you know we've always raise our hat to, to Michael and the, of yes. putting our culture onto a world stage. Um, but uh, our Irish dancers, basically, there's two types of Irish dancing. Uh, there's the hard shoe, which is like you hear those loud taps of that, yeah. Yes. And that's very forceful and very passionate. And then there's the soft shoe dancer, which is more elegant and more graceful. So we have um, lots of dance routines within the show, mm -hmm. and they use a variation of soft shoe and hard shoe. But because it, we're called the Essence of Ireland, we also have other routines within the show, which although they may be from a different culture, like we have a, a salsa, Celtic salsa, it's a mm -hmm. salsa routine. Because one of the characters in the show is a, a Spanish guy called Miguel. Mm -hmm. And Miguel and Sean become best friends, and uh, Sean goes to live with Miguel and his Spanish family in Harlem in New York. Mm -hmm. And the, the routine we have there is a Spanish routine, but at the heart of it, there's Irish hard shoe dancing. So it's that kind of two cultures colliding and mixing together yes. and coming up with something that's greater than the two cultures. Yes. And then we, we do a similar thing then with, uh, there's a scene where Sean and his wife go to Las Vegas to see a show and that's our Celtic country. So that's a very pizzazzy Las Vegas style section to the show. But at the core of it, we have Irish hard shoe going on. So it's uh, there's always that essence of Ireland running through everything that we do so yeah well uh, i think uh, we're going to have to say goodbye but before we do that where is the show uh, well you know we all know it's yeah. at the joburg theater but tell us more <laughs> well we're at the joburg theater the mandela theater in johannesburg until the 5th of may um, until the, until the 5th of may so we've got another another couple of weeks there so please come down and see us say hello we don't we're very nice people. We don't bite you or anything, so you'll, you'll be all right. Come and say hello to us because we, you know, we want to meet. We want to meet as many South African people as we possibly can because yes. we're really enjoying the experience of being here. To play a final song, shall we? Why not? Yeah, shall we do? Well, I took a stroll to the old long walk of the day. For coming through and of course we'll come to the theater in fact i'd also like to say thank you to bill and to colette for bringing you through to uh, radio veritas today thank you very much guys, for thank you out. it's 36 minutes now after two or 24 minutes to three in a short while we speak to father timberland in mobile cheers guys thank you very much thank you, thank you. <laughs>